What's up, guys? Zach, man, with Michael Profit FX. Coming back at you with a video update. It's been a couple uh, weeks. I've uh, been doing some uh, relearning here, trying to figure some other things out. Because, you know, if you ain't learning, you ain't earning. Um, but, uh, yeah, kind of got things uh, squared away. Did a little, I kind of did a couple of practice accounts real quick. Um, trying to figure out how I want to go forward with this and what we can do to get better profits. Um, so the whole point of, of this was to take... <clears throat> A small micro account like ten dollars twenty dollars and try to grow it um i'm not saying it's not doable sorry i have a cold going on so if, it, if i get a little raspy that's why but um uh so yeah i'm not saying it's not doable it's just that it's going to take a lot of patience um and you got to kind of you know looking to get cents here and there so um, the best way i figured to do it was to start this time maybe with like 150 bucks um which I use I uh, converted to Bitcoin, so it, it, I I started with 140 basically after a ten dollar transaction fee thing. So uh, um, basically, let's look at the account here, um, all of the account. Uh, so again, when I first started doing the videos, uh, it was on 10:30, and you can see there's a ten dollar deposit there. Um, another one was after we, you know, obviously that went negative, didn't work out. And then we have a thirteen dollar deposit there, had some positive negatives there. Uh, basically, long story short, we'll just continue to scroll down till we get to where I just put in. Oops, I already. Oh, there it is. It's right here. So December fifth, two thousand nineteen, deposit one hundred forty four three cents. Um, so we're just gonna go through it. And right now, after we look at the account, it's at one hundred eighty two dollars and ninety one cents. So the total deposits, including the micro ones, when we first tested out, was one hundred seventy four thirty five. We're in profit of uh, eight dollars and fifty six cents right now. So it's obviously, you know, it took me a little couple of days to get ahead finally after some of the negative um, from the other deposits, but we're doing good. So we're going to uh, break it down, kind of show you what uh, I got going on, what's new. added a couple of indicators, uh, new ones, um, the OPV indicator with divergence right down here. So it kind of helps, uh, you know, kind of clear up some of the clutter, kind of make it a little bit easier. So um, right now I'm in a trade right now. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> I'm a raspy already. Let's see if I can get through this video. Um, we're looking at the USD JPY. Um, so I did enter buy. I actually entered it right after the divergence right here because um, there was a nice trend line that it was kind of following as well. So I figured it'd be a good opportunity to buy, um, especially after it hit the channel there. Um, and as you can see, it went down and it just nicked <coughs> my stop loss, but not enough to trigger it. So kind of save me there and kind of bounce back up right now so kind of following this trend uh the channel and there's actually a trend line you can kind of see how it's a little weird color right now that's because there's a trend line right there that's following so we're going to see if it can break through it or not um, but my guess is it'll probably hit the, there's a channel forming right now you can see the other trend line right there so it's going to form and then we'll see if it bounces out of there but it does have verified support test down here um that's kind of where i put my stop loss right underneath that just in case and obviously there's another touch right there and a touch um, that almost hit it right there. So I did put a little pibs underneath there, but um, that's kind of right there. And obviously we had divergence on the OPV indicator right there. So um, that's kind of where it made it spike up right there. So uh, kind of keep an eye on that. Um, let's kind of go down the list here. I won't spend too much time on them unless I see. Now here we have divergence going on. So I'll probably look into this a little bit later when I do my analysis is around 8 o'clock. Usually I just try to get a feel for what's going to happen in the morning. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have a nice trend line right there, too. That Let's zoom in on that, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this going to be a rough one. Uh, so we do have divergence. We have the channel line. We have support down here. Um, and we have a, a little bit of a wedge form right there. So let's see if we get it to break out of that wedge. So I might be looking to take a trade on the USD CHF. I'll write that down. Let's take a look at the four-hour chart. It's always better to look at the long-term charts as well to kind of see where they're at. So that is on the trend line for the four. That is definitely definitely going to be a good one. I'm going to wait until 8 o'clock, though, because I know the market's going to kind of clutter right now. So I want it to clean up a little bit, and then we'll see where that's going to be at. So look at the day chart. It's kind of, ooh, it's right on that. It looks like it might break out of that this trend line. So we could be looking to the upside. So definitely positive so if you guys are uh looking to entering something right now definitely look at that so all right moving on 
Canada. I am in that trade as well. There was divergence back here. <coughs> and I wanted to wait till it, uh, there was, uh, look back on the 30 minute chart. I kind of went down, hit the top right here, went down, hit the top, went back down. It's kind of when I entered. <coughs> Cold's killing me. And I put my stop loss above the uh, recent resistant line, but uh, so it kind of went up, and right now we're kind of going back down. So I'll uh, probably close out of it once we get close to this trend line down here. If it doesn't make a major break, because um, obviously we have OPV divergence for the uptrend now. We did have some right here on the cell. And then if we look at the longer chart, um, actually it's kind of riding this line right now, but it might, we'll see where this one closes at eight o'clock um, before I decide if I want to remain in it or get out of it. We'll see where that goes. Daily chart, and that's actually looking like it could continue to go down. So, I mean, it did hit the top of this channel or the trend line here. We got the other one there, we got the channel down here the channel there there so i don't know it'd be interesting to see where this one goes we'll have to play it by ear i guess on that one moving on euro yes usd not in that one euro jp i'm just going to kind of skip to the ones that, that i'm in right now <coughs> Ugh. Um. let's see which one is this one AUD, AUD, CAD, CAD, Australian CAD. All right, let's look at this one then. I'm in this one as well. <clears throat> right now I got a sell from up here. Um, from when we had divergence back here, you can kind of see where that is. Put a sell in. Oh man, took a little bit of time. Oh, it's six o'clock, that's what. <coughs> All right, come on now, done. <clears throat> so we had divergence, we're on our way down. Uh, kind of follow this trend line right here as well as following there so I thought there was a good opportunity to take a trade with it at divergence and we're just kind of waiting to see where it goes um, if it breaks out of this line within the next hour I'll probably close out of it with a little bit of a profit um, like I said I'll probably actually I'm just going to drag this down right now just in case boom <coughs> worst case scenario if it does shoot up <coughs> it is going to hit my stop loss with a profit of 32 cents so it's better than hitting you know going up and then hitting my stop loss and taking it out so it's kind of you know the whole point of this is risk management i mean you can be the best trader in the world but if you're constantly hitting your stop losses and you're just wasting money that way if you're you know let's say you i don't know like for example um, yeah so you're right here right so you put a sell in you know you see there's a you know turning point um you look right here down down that's that didn't quite hit a divergence but if you if you do the system right it'll work out but um let's just say you just you know you boom you hit a sell right here you're doing good you're like oh you know all of a sudden right here there's a, there's a little bit of pullback you're like oh okay so you got your sell right there and you got your stop loss right right there well what's gonna happen is it's gonna pull back and boom you're gonna hit your stop loss and then you're gonna be out with money but if you do it right and you can control that so you know like i said if you put a if you sold right here let's just say right here for example better that's be that'd be a better example so if you sell there <clears throat> after that candle closes and you put a stop loss just right above where that right before the wick and then you go down well it's 156 pibs and you put your stop loss at 87 pibs well you're down there but then all of a sudden it you know from there to there you know it goes up <clears throat> about 300 pips so like i said you're you're gonna lose that trade by thinking it's gonna go down which it does but i rather have you know let's say it goes down right here but then all of a sudden once it's halfway you know if you're at 87 and you're looking for a one to three ratio <clears throat> you want a halfway point so you stop it at like 160 let's say so boom right there's your stop loss is set so if it does retrace back it's going to hit that and you're at least going to get whatever you put in for a lot size back versus going all the way back here breaking even or just losing out and whatever your stop loss whatever you risk so if you risk i don't know uh, a one lot well now you're going to be out a 100 bucks <coughs> so versus break even so that's kind of what the whole idea of the risk 
risk-reward ratio, which we'll touch on later on once I'm... Give her this goddamn cold because it's fucking pissing me off. <coughs> I can't talk. Yeah, it's frustrating. But anyways, back to the goddamn point of what the fuck I'm doing. All right, so... Anyways, moving on. A little rant there. So, yeah. Hit the channel already. It's hitting the, yeah, the trend line right there, so it's going to go back down. Boom, fuckity, boom, boom. And then I'm going to close out. I do have my stop loss down here. Or take profit, I mean. Okay. Uh, moving on. Can. That was that one. And, oh, another thing. I, I cleared up some fucking cluster down here. It was pissing me off. So I'm only doing the major pairs and the minor pairs. I'm not doing them on that fucking stupid. Uh, uh, oh, what the fuck you want to call it? Uh. Well, I'm, on a, I'm going on a rant right now. Um, weird shit. Basically, like, the Russians and Chinese and communism and Korea and South America and all that. Mexico, pesos, all that crap. We're getting rid of all that uh, exotic, there we go, exotic pairs. And we're sticking to the fucking simple shit. Because I just don't have time for it. The spreads are fucking crazy. And, yeah, no. None of that. Not right now. Anyways, back to it. So what am I in? I'm in, not in that one. Ah, here we go. I'm in this one, though. This one's my fucking kryptonite right now. But we hit my trend line right here, so I'm probably going to close out of that once it gets closer to my take profit. If not, maybe now. This one's uh, not very good right now, so. All right, so. Actually, I don't even have my take profit even set on this one. Oops. Probably would have. I don't have my stop loss set either. Well, that's interesting. Well, anyways, so we have uh, OPV divergence right here. Um, so we kind of waited it, waited it, waited for it to break out of a trend line. Uh, I think it was a 30 minute. I think I was actually looking at this more on my phone than it was because I was away from my computer when I entered this one. <clears throat> yeah, I think it was right here. It touched the. I don't know. Yeah. No, because this, this would be a buy and exit. The hell! Oh, I know what happened. I was following this trend line. No, it was, I don't know. I don't know. My phone. I, I did. This is what I hate about fucking phones too. Sometimes you can't see what the hell it is you see versus the computer. Cause sometimes I do trade on my phone um, throughout the day. In the mornings, I'll I'll do this before I head to my business, and then uh, I'll, I'm usually on my phone a lot more because i can't you know i have a computer but obviously i'm doing other shit so i'm um, driving and talking to customers and shit so i don't have time to sit there and <clears throat> to hell uh, maybe it was the overture maybe it was this trend I, mean, I, had, I had a trend line right here maybe oh well this is a couple hours ago so i bet you it was i bet you had it going through here um and it, yep i bet you that's what it was but obviously it broke through because of the it uh, had a gap down after the change of time there for the new day. But anyway, so I'm, it doesn't matter. But I'm in this trade right now, and it's probably going to be a, a loss. So, <coughs> And moving on to NZD USD. And that trade as well. Uh, right now we're in a sell. And this one's been freaking insanely crazy because it did hit some highs. So obviously I got in way back here. After there was divergence, uh, I kind of wanted to wait for it to test the trend line first, but then I, I, I took the chance and got in on it, and right now we're uh, it's kind of hitting back up. But um, especially the four-hour divergence, there was a lot of divergence here, OPV divergence. There was this divergence everywhere, so I definitely jumped on board. I mean, high here, high here. So I just want this bitch to fucking crash already, but it's probably going to wait for the rate decision from the, for the U.S., um, fed to determine and then it's going to fucking come crashing down hardcore but i'll probably well they're not i'm going to be in there i've been thinking about just closing it out for now but um we have a nice trend line right here so we'll see if it breaks through there or not before i stop out of it so i think that's all i'm into right now it's all the trades i got so i'm going to stop right here because my voice is fucking killing me <clears throat> i gotta drink a water or some tea or something other than that guys um like I said, I think uh, this is going to work out fantastic. We got a, a whole, I got a whole nother uh, thing 
going on for this to work out. Um, I'm, right now, I got this set up on um, signal service through MetaTrade, uh, but I want to give it a good month test run. Um, well, not really testing. It's a live account, so I can't really – well, it's testing anyways before I actually share the link. So if you guys want to subscribe to it, um, so if you guys got other shit going on in your lives – um, this way you can, you know, do the same trades that I'm doing and make the same profits that I'm doing. So um, hold on to your butts because we're going to go for a ride. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Follow me on Telegram. All that fun stuff. Peace.